Destroyer of hopes and dreams? Some of you might already know that Salty Crafter loves going out for walks searching for craft kits. Potentially craft kits as well. The holiday season is one of the best times for her to find things because companies really are pushing with advertisements. So it comes as no surprise that Salty Crafter happens to have found the Crayola Crayon Melter Kit. Needless to say, she was pretty overjoyed at finding it. And so this week, my little grains, we're going to be taking a look at Crayola's Crayon Melter Kit. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. <laughs> So the idea behind this kit is that we can melt crayons in this device in the same way that we would do with 3D pens and make coloring pages. At first glance, this is extremely exciting because the textures that they show not only in their commercial but also on the box look fantastic. I can already see Jazza from Jaw with Jazza make something extremely epic with this. He has the skills I don't, so I'm just gonna follow instructions. Jazza, if you're watching this, if, if you did this amazing art with blow pens, I can only imagine what you could do with this kit if it's good. Why are we getting ahead of ourselves? I'm getting excited and we all know what happens when you get overexcited about things. It leaves a bigger room for disappointment. Do we want that? Probably because it gives us a reason to be salty. We can be salty all we want because they did it to us. They made us this way. <laughs> Before we begin, I wanted to mention that, you know, how companies heavily advertise things. I've been heavily advertised the Harry Potter wand coating kit. It is a really expensive kit at about $130. I don't know if you brains want me to review it, but if you do, let's just, I feel, I feel really bad doing this because I'm, I'm like, like baiting you, but that's the only way for me to know in a, in a kind of measure way. So if we reach 20,000 likes on this video, I will most definitely go out, actually I'll send Salty Crafter to go out and buy the kit and review it so that you know whether or not it is worth it to pick it up. So if you want to see it, let's hit that goal and I'll definitely go waste 130 bucks for that because I do it for you. It's not for me, it's for you. Because it's close to the holidays, I'm going to be giving out extra shoutouts. This week's shoutouts go to Annie Plass and Foxy Takanori. If you want a shoutout in my normally Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release or hashtag Nerdy Crafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. During the holidays, I'm gonna give you guys more shoutouts. Both videos of the week. So this kit cost me $30 Canadian, but if you look on the American Amazon, it is $20 US. And the idea is pretty straightforward. We melt crayons and we make artwork. So without delay, let's find out what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. The crayon melter and holder. The plug. A crayon cutter and the cleaner. Luckily, if we need, I love the smell of crayons. I have extra Crayola crayons in case. Eight super vibrant colors. Pink, red, orange, yellow, green, well, two greens, purple, and blue. And three coloring pages. One is a fish, which I'm gonna do, a lion, and a practice sheet. So while the unit is heating up, I want to show you guys something really interesting this chart over here. They actually mention how a quarter of a crayon does this much coloring, which is extremely useful because you may not think how far a crayon could go when it comes to being melted, but this is an extremely helpful gauge. So Crayola, you get a bonus point. Here you go, a star, just for you. All right, it's green, which means that we can insert a piece of crayon inside. All right, so I definitely want to do a little bit of a practice on this sheet down here. So we're gonna take a little bit of the green, take a little a little snip, and we're gonna put it inside and try to see how it colors. I'm so excited. I'm crossing my fingers that this product is as good as they're heavily advertising it, especially when I was checking on Amazon for, for craft kits. This was the first result that came up and it said sponsored. So I'm, I'm guessing they have a lot of confidence. All right, in you go. Now we wait a minute. I have no idea why I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. So there's no button to press. I guess you just press down on the surface. All right, here we go. So we're supposed to hold it straight. In their commercial, they just made it seem like it's supposed to come out easily. Nope. Five minutes later. 
All right, so this this is just not working. I'm gonna try and put another another quarter of a crayon to see maybe it just needs more in there to get it started. So let's pop that in there. Wait a minute and two, or a bit, wait, wait a minute or two. I can't talk anymore because I'm, I'm feeling salt buildup in here. Let's just wait. Let's put a little more and hope it works. All right, so I've waited two more minutes, which I think should be enough. Crayola, let's get along today. I know there are times where you and I just don't see eye to eye, but let's make things work today for the children. All right, here goes nothing. Attempt number two. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's 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 color this in. This is so liquidy. Army Gerd. It feels like painting. That is neat. <gasps> the fun thing is, to the touch, it's just lukewarm. It's not hot. And it's already dried up. I'm glad you and I saw eye to eye for the children. <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, so definitely if you want something to start, you're gonna have to put more than just a quarter so that it can... Uh, start flowing. One of the things I have no idea how to do is the cleanup because this is supposed to be for cleaning but nowhere in the instructions does it mention how. It, it looks like a, a q-tip but do I put it in when it's cold or do I put it in when it's warm? Wow. All right so the best way to know how well a product works is by doing the project that they give us. So I'm going to go ahead and do this entire project. Fingers crossed that they give us enough crayons because we know how I feel about incomplete kits. Let's do it! I have fond memories of using crayons to color as a kid. So the fact that this one is a crayon melter makes it seem like such an amazing idea. And initially, as I started coloring, I was like, this is really cool, this is really fun. But then I started noticing that it was sometimes clogging, sometimes not coming out consistently. And if you were kind of just going back to fill in a gap that you may have missed because the nozzle is, is pretty, pretty thick. What would happen is that parts of the drawing would actually start smudging. So it's not really friendly to backtrack and try and fix what you made. So one of the first things that I did notice, as you can see, we ran out of orange to finish the project included in this kit. So they obviously aren't giving enough to do the full project, which means they're forcing you to have to buy more Crayola crayons immediately. So I'm going to... So I'm gonna dip into my, my Crayolas over here and then see if it, if it works. It should, in all technicality. Here's where things started going downhill. I don't know what's going on, but the second I started using the other Crayolas that I had, everything was just starting to clog. It was even more so than before. I have a feeling they might know that the actual crayons that come with the papers wrapped around them might have some kind of reaction because I mean the papers there, there's glue. There may have been some kind of contamination because I don't know, I don't make the products, but all I'm saying is I use the Crayolas that I had so that they can't really say you used a different crayon. I used the ones they said. And then above all that, while I was coloring it in, chunks were just coming off the paper. Why are the crayons coming off the paper? Someone explain it to me. So here is my piece. I'm disappointed, very disappointed. First things first, we can see that the paper is warping. I mean, look over here. So it can't even hold its shape properly for this medium. The least they could do, especially if they're selling expansion packs for this kit, is make sure that you have the proper paper for it. And the expansion packs are nothing more than stickers on paper that you color around. So it is a waste of money. Don't, don't waste your money. And the coloring pages here, as you saw a couple of times as I was doing it, the actual crayons are coming off. How disappointing is it if you spend a couple of hours coloring a page and all it does is this. So it's not the excuse that I've been using anything or, or, or scraping it or anything like that. It's just, it's not made to stay on paper. It's a little asmr -y. Let's Let's listen to that. As satisfying as that is, it's also pretty disappointing. Even on the test sheet, which is pretty warped from all the testing, there you go. And this is what 
their own crayon, not my old crayons that I kind of started to question whether or not, you know, it's the same ingredients. It, it's their material. Look at that. That's what you're getting. All right, let's go over there and have a chat. Time to find out. Is this kit <laughs> worth it? If you're new to Salty Crafter, we live on the salt. Sometimes tea, but salt. So we always like to start with the cons first because that's how our soul can ascend as a higher being. And then afterwards, if there are any pros, you'll get those afterwards. This kit only comes with seven colors. Yes, they are rainbow-ish colors, but on the box itself, we can obviously see that there's white, but where's the white? It would also have been good to have some black or brown. So darker colors would have helped make contrast with the brighter colors to make it even more fun. The usage chart is not precise at all. Even though they did tell us how much a quarter of a crayon makes and it goes far, I found that to be actually not true at all. So don't, don't rely on that. I am a patient person sometimes, but if I have to wait all the time between a minute and two minutes for my crayons to be ready so that I can use them, it makes things a lot slower. When it comes to the cleaning tool, they tell you to use it by putting it in the machine and just twisting it. But every time I've done it, there was no cleaning in there whatsoever. I wasn't sure if anything was being done, if it was actually scraping the sides because there was no resistance. So I, I feel like like the cleaning tool could have been explained a bit better. The tip on this actual machine is pretty broad and clunky. When you look at the picture, it looks pretty precise so that you can get the contour of the image. But yeah, we're gonna get to the image in not too long. But yeah, a finer tip would have been appreciated. If you're coloring and you miss the spot because it's pretty clunky, if you try to go over it right like a split second after, it gets pretty smudgy and pretty gross very quickly. So don't, 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 don't do that. Count your mistakes, count your blessings, and move. On. The paper works. They're giving us cardstock, so it should, in theory, Ariola, look at me, look at me. The paper that you give should work with the material you want us to use. Why is your paper warping? Hmm? Hmm? I'm not sure if the issue here is the cutter or the other Crayola crayons because the paper was not loose on all of them. Sometimes I used it and it worked. Other times I used it and it was stuck. So I don't know, maybe the cutter needs a little more leeway. Blade is just really, really tiny. I know it's supposed to be safe, but if it's not working and then if there's residue of paper on the crayon and that's what's causing the block, I don't know that. I don't know. You're supposed to make sure that your machine works, okay? Ah, the box, the box, the box, the box. If you look closely, you can see that the fish was very nicely colored and you're like, that is absolutely gorgeous work. But if you look even more closely, you'll see that the contour of the fish was actually photoshopped in there. It is way more vibrant and uh, very clear. So obviously, Photoshop skills, a little misleading in it. Why is it that I spent all this time on a project for the end result to just lift off the paper on its own and then crumble and break? One of my biggest pet peeves are kits that don't give you enough material to finish the project. Why didn't we get enough of the orange or red and yellow to make our goldfish? I had to dip into my box so I can continue doing this project. And just to be clear, if I didn't have crayons, I also wouldn't have been able to finish the water itself. Make sure you give us enough material to finish what you intended us to start and finish. There's kind of a dilemma. <laughs> Crayola, why? Why Crayola, why? So there's a bit of a dilemma. I, I can't stop laughing because it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if the issue is the machine or if the issue is compatibility at this point because it feels like it's a little bit of everything. So the crayons I used that I have are about four years old. I have no idea if they changed their recipe so that it's not compatible with older crayons or is it that the machine is just clunky and, and doesn't work properly. So that's going to be my con over here. Which leeways on to the next con. The flow is inconsistent. At the beginning, I was so impressed. I was like, <gasps> This is amazing and it's flowing and it's gorgeous. But the more you use it, the more it seems like the insides is not equipped to be used. So the first time you have this amazing impression and then afterwards you start blaming yourself, but the issue isn't you. I know some of you are gonna be like, Jakey, you did it all wrong. No, no, you, you, you get it and you make it. So unfortunately, the flow was inconsistent. The box says eight years old and up. As an eight-year-old, you want to make sure that your work of art lasts a long 
time. So this is definitely kind of insulting for an eight-year-old. This probably could have been good for six to eight years old, you know, with smaller projects and smaller things, so the attention span isn't necessarily as long. This con has to do with con number 13, which is the inconsistent flow, and it leeways also at the same time with the fact that it clogs quite often. I used a whole tissue paper trying to clean it up. Every time after I cleaned it up, it was really pretty on the Kleenex, and then afterwards it was like, meh. <laughs> and my final con for this kit is that all that effort is for nothing. You get a huge bundle of disappointment, mess, and crumbles. Crayons that could have otherwise been used for an actual purpose other than just putting it in the trash. Now onto the pros, there are a couple of them, so let's go through that. It is pretty quiet, so if you're looking for an activity that's quiet, the machine makes no noise whatsoever. Initially, the flow was so smooth, but it feels like it's smooth when you go into straight lines. Once you start getting into curves and coloring larger areas, it's not as smooth anymore. I have to give it to them, it does dry pretty quickly. That could also probably be one of the cons because it's not letting you actually flow even more. But again, they're doing this so that the heat isn't too high. So I'm going to put it as a pro, it does dry quickly. The textures that you can get are really amazing. I, I just really wish that it didn't come off the paper because you can make amazing textures and just have fun with it. I, I'm just, mm, I, I really wish it didn't clog. I really wish the flow was even. I'm pretty sure if, if, if you had patience, you could make it work. But since this is a craft kit that they're selling, it should work without you having to force it to work. Since it's being used on normal paper, even though it does warp, you can print any kind of coloring page and have whoever wants to work on it to work on it. It's not a specialty paper, it's just cardstock. As a kid, I would have loved this machine. I, I was huge. I... huge. <laughs> I was really big into coloring. I just absolutely enjoyed spending hours coloring. So I can think little Jackie looking at this product in terms of advertisement being like, I need this. But the fact that it's not working properly and it's just going to clog and make coloring even more frustrating, you don't have to force a product to work for it to work. It should come ready with not many frustrations. So overall, I give this kit a four and a half on 10 dorks. I, I really did want to enjoy this kit because it seemed like something so fun and my hopes were so high. I'm pretty sure if you really wanted to make it work, you could make it work. But that's not the point of a craft kit. It should work on its own. I know I'm saying this often, but a craft kit should work without you forcing it to. Crayola, this could have been an amazing product. It really has such great potential. There are things that need to be tweaked on it, but I'm pretty sure the version two of this could be great. So I am imploring you, rework this. There's just so much potential right here. Thank you so much for watching my little grains. If you want to see a salty video again, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, check it out down here.